Yes, so I got caught up in amateur radio, making an antenna a couple of years ago. And then I started to read about uh, radio astronomy and the Arecibo telescope and uh, the new Chinese disc, which is amazing. I'm and building it over here. <laughs> and I know it's, it's, this is supposed to be really, really complicated stuff. And yes, it is. But I'm, I'm, I'll just try it out as I usually do. So this is how far I've come. And this is the metal sheet. The metal is supposed to be on here like that. And when I've finished, uh, it's uh, going to be a rather big uh, parabola. So this is a rather important stage. And this, as it's all made of wood, it's rather inaccurate already. So the more accurate I am in every step, the better the end result will be. So I have to sharpen my pencil for this one. Well, there will have to be some straightening out of the plates here, obviously. So my parabola has more or less gotten its shape now. It's a bit too wiggly, but I'm thinking of making a, a different, kind, different kind of feed horn to compensate for that, but I have no idea uh, how that will work or if it will work. It's something to do with angles. And I'll figure it out, or trial and error, as always. Um, so now I'm going to clean it with a rather strong cleaning agent to uh, prepare it for, for, for some paint who hopefully will last through uh, many kinds of weather and, uh, and, and the winter as well. Yes, so I was wondering about the feed horn for the for the parabola, and um, I made this, and it's an idea from a friend of mine called Jumar, uh, and I thought his idea was brilliant. 
I could have called this a double helix Fibonacci sequence antenna. But I'm not calling it that, I'm calling it something strange, um, a strange idea I got from a very good friend. So, but it is um, a Fibonacci sequence uh, in the fact that the twirls of of a copper wire here is one one two three five eight thirteen twenty one. Uh, the spacing um, is in a Fibonacci sequence, and it is a double helix in the way that they are curving along um, a plastic tube, <clears throat> but not with the same space uh, between uh, the twirls. Anyway, I have no idea if it works, but I thought it was a great idea, and Fibonacci's sequence goes so many places, is used so many places in nature, uh, and also in, um, yeah, well, electromagnetism. So I read about the feed horn, the feed horn for <coughs> for radio astronomy should be um, a tapered or, um, um, well, um, uh, especially tapered feed horn. I don't really remember what it's called now. Um, exponentially tapered feed horn, exponentially tapered, and that's the reason for the strange shape here. Uh, it exponentially goes outwards, and uh, this is supposedly to secure um, every little signal coming in. So this is going around and then this thing is going in and the whole thing is going to be centered 150 centimeters above um, center of uh, the parabola so um, we're getting there we just have to weld all these together somehow okay I promised my wife the um, parabola wouldn't have a military look. <laughs>